Hey y'all, uh, this morning I'm looking for perspectives. Anybody who's willing to comment, feel free. Keep all negative energy and negative vibes uh, out of my comment section, but I'm just looking for perspectives as far as how do you discipline and or reprimand your children? Can you think back to your childhood? What was uh, your parents' uh, discipline technique when you got in trouble or they felt as though they needed to discipline you what was the technique i've seen both sides of uh of where i'm going at with this uh the children who were like bruised beaten badly with belts i've noticed that a lot of those children have became aggressors like it's a lot of bottled up um energy inside of these children and they take it well the adults now or children in or children and they take it out on the adults because um, they take it out in their adulthood because they remember the abuse and how they could not defend themselves. So they go out into the streets and they demand respect. It's like, I'm going to get respect out here by any means necessary. Now, the children who are adults now or children now who are being screamed at, it kind of takes their voice away. It takes their power. They feel no need to speak because you're constantly overpowering them. Um, and not to mention that, it's like, uh, then they go outside to their friends and they expose what's going on in the household because they feel as though they have no voice in their home. What's you guys' uh, best discipline, like course of action when trying to discipline a child or either your partner, your spouse? Because um, as we see today, we see a lot of men um, who have been raised in single household families, only raised by women. And a woman, the women have done the best that they can do in the household as far as raising a boy. But we do notice that a lot of boys tend to become very disrespectful or have a strong hatred for women, especially as they grow up. It's like they want to make women pay. They want the women to feel how they felt from their mother when they were experiencing discipline or could be abuse in their mind, depending on how they feel as though their power had been stripped away. Now, for the young girls who are abused by their fathers or have absent fathers, we notice that women tend to go and look for that love in the streets, right? Which means uh, she's looking for guidance and love from a man in the streets, and that man could ultimately lead her down a path of destruction because she values that man or that man has been a placeholder for her father and by the time she looks up she she could possibly had destroyed her life or on the verge to it if not redirected what's you guys um discipline like course of discipline action when conflict or tension arises with your children what do you guys do what do you guys um what do you guys advise like do you take the phones do you take electronics do you do the corner do you do the belt do you do the talking um does talking go into whoopings like what's the levels of uh your discipline let me know y'all um i'm actually begging for perspectives this morning you know because in our communities we got to help each other i know we all are embarrassed to speak about the things that we're going through especially as children you know the the parents don't like the business leaving the household but what happens when you feel as though your voice is not being heard in a household and I, I get it from my uh, ch childhood years to my adult years. And I'm even looking over my shortcomings at this time right now, too. What's the best advice for a single mom or a single dad or just disciplining in a household? Let me know what you guys think, y'all. Take care.